Hi, I'm John Chan. I test robot vacuums at Review.com, and this is the DBot D83. So, tell us a little bit about the DBot and what sets the DBot apart from some of the other vacuums we've tested. So, the DBot is made by Ecovax, which is a Chinese company. It sells for around two hundred and seventy dollars online. And the thing that kind of sets it apart is that it also has an attachment for a wet mop and a microfiber cloth. Anything performance-wise that set this particular robot vacuum apart? Uh, much to its detriment, uh, the D-Bot was the first robot vacuum that actually fell off our uh, fake step and crashed onto the floor. Tell us what that would mean for like real-life applications. What, what sort of limitations does that put on the D-Bot? So you really want to avoid having the D-Bot go near stairs because once it crashes, it might, it might break, in which point you'll have to get a new one. It seemed to me like this robot vacuum also ran a lot longer than some of the other ones. Uh, it did. It had the longest cleaning time of any robot we've tested that thus far, and that might be because it has a nickel battery. And typically a nickel battery runs the best when you charge it fully and then completely expend the battery. That extends the life of the battery. Just by way of example, how much longer does this run than one of the iRobots? Typically for the room that we have, it's about 30 minutes. Uh, and the D-Bot ran for almost two hours. How did it perform as far as cleaning up the floors? So because it ran for so long, anywhere it could fit or get on top of, it completely cleaned up. So it does have a slightly above average uh, pickup, but it does still have that really long run time. Uh, how did it do with the high pile carpet? Was it able to get up on top of it and then off of it again without an issue? We did not see any evidence of it getting on top of the high pile carpet. And where does it sit in the price market? Uh, well, it initially came out as a machine that sold for three ninety nine, but then the price has come down to around two seventy, so it's upper to mid tier in terms of price. So this isn't a bargain, but it's it's not. This isn't the Rolls Royce of robot facts either. Yeah, it's a good way to put it.